Hey everyone, Kelsey Campbell here with Brian Dunn at the Skybox Lounge in the Whittemore Center for another UNH Wildcat Hockey Preview. The Wildcats are finally coming home after being on the road since October 20th for a six-game road series to play uh, Hockey East weekend here at the Whittemore Center on Friday night against UMass Amherst and Saturday night against Boston College. Both expected to be very competitive games. Brian, what are your thoughts? Yeah, very competitive Hockey East weekend coming up here. They finally come home for the first time since October. The fans are really excited and so are we. And playing UMass again a couple weeks back they went to UMass and they ended up tying them after a very bad third period they kind of let up a lot of bad penalties and that caused them to end up going to a tie but then BC comes to town the next night and BC is top five ranked in the country in NCAA right now Gary York and company always finds a way to get their team into the top tier of the NCAA hockey world so it's going to be a huge test for UNA to see if they can come away with four points in hockey this weekend. Let's send it down to Coach Emilia and the players to hear their thoughts on the weekend to come. I think we all know about our last game with uh, UMass, how we gave away a point. Uh, you know, we, we had it going pretty well and gave it up in the third period. And, uh, but if you look at the stats and their team, the, the, they've got off to a pretty good start. Uh, they can score. They've proven that. And they can score in bunches. And uh, they're a team that, regardless of uh, the score, they find ways to come back. Uh, they did it again uh, just the other night against uh, a Vermont team with three goals in the third period. So, uh, you know, I think we uh, definitely a little sour. You know, when it comes to UMass, obviously when they came back, um, they got some firepower up front that we're gonna have to watch out for. Um, you know, we're we're definitely focused on UMass. You know, obviously that game being first, and but we know BC's been really good defensively. Uh, Demko's had some shutouts. Obviously, it's been in the news. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to be more worried about that game come Saturday morning, really just focus on Amherst at this point. Yeah, I mean, right now we're just focused on Friday night. We can't really worry about Saturday, even though BC is obviously a great team. Um, we got to tighten some things up in the defensive zone and maybe not as, uh, allow as many goals as we did last time and just try to keep putting the puck in the net and hopefully that could work out for us. And then obviously Saturday, just got to get a lot of shots, a lot of traffic and try to solve them. We've talked about it hundreds of times, but this team finally comes home this weekend. They play two games at home, and there's just a different energy that comes to playing at home that the fans bring, that the team feeds off of, and I think they're determined to play their best hockey this weekend because, you know, I think they're sick of the road trip. Six weeks is more than enough for them, and I think they're going to do the best they can to come out with four points this weekend. Be sure to welcome home and come support your Wildcats as they take on UMass Amherst this Friday night at 7 p.m. here at the WIT and come back again to take on the Boston College Eagles Saturday again at 7 p.m. For Brian Dunn, I'm Kelsey Campbell and we are UNH Wildcat Productions.